Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravindra Jangit here, your electrical faculty and in this video I am going to talk about the generation of the harmonics by the converters. So we will discuss about the what type of the converters. We have already discussed about the different types of bridge rectifier that is the converter. And having we, if we are using the 12 pulse converter, then it is having the six to six pulse converters are attached in such a way, or you can say in a series connection. In the first set of, uh, in the first set of operation, in the first set of operation. So, or in the second set of operation these two first, first and second set of operation the first set of operation is having your 1 is to 1 ratio and here 1 is to the root 3 ratio the first is actually connected into star and star connection and second is connected in the star and delta connection so likewise actually these are connected and we have discussed uh, almost uh, uh, in the second chapter we have discussed all these things this is the first six pulse group and this is the second six pulse group so i can say that so i can say that that is the 12 pulse converter 12 pulse converter is having two six pulse converter are connected in in series combination so they are likewise connected in a series combination the first six pulse converter first six pulse converter is actually connected into a star and a star combination and if I talk about the second six pulse converter, second six pulse converter, it is actually converted in star and delta. These are actually connected in such a way, these uh, are connected in such a way that because to give the phase difference of 30 degree. Okay, so we will proceed for the some of the points which are listed or written uh, here. That is a for the 12 pulse converter. If we talk about the 12 pulse com converter or its operation, the only harmonics corresponding to, uh, or you can the harmonics which is corresponding to the 12 pulse converter is in the 12 k plus minus one. Please remember this. This is the this is the 12 12 k plus minus one and will enter into your AC system and will enter in your AC system. This will be okay now if we talk about the net current net current at the ac bus if you talk about the we have the ac ac and the dc bus so if you talk about the ac bus then on the ac bus and we will talk about the, on the primary side then we will have the this current this is the per phase current ia and this is a 4 root 3 upon pi id so this is a combination of we have actually found from the above 6 pulse converter current and the 12 uh, below 6 pulse converter and we have added and simplified this then i i we are actually getting like this that is a 4 root 3 upon pi id this is a cos omega t minus 1 upon 1 1 cos 1 1 omega t plus 1 upon 1 3 cos 1 3 omega t which is equal to cos 1 upon 2, 2, uh, 2 3 cos 2 3 omega t and likewise it is going to be happening okay now let us assume let us assume let us assume let us assume one second so let us assume dc voltage on this each six pulse converter so i can say that will be one half of the dc voltage of the 12 pulse converter yes or no okay so primary line current for the six pulse converter will be half the total 12 pulse converter bridge so likewise it is going to be happen so please read it carefully because it is going to be important one here so i can write that ia current is going to be 2 root 3 uh, 2 root 3 divided by pi into id cos omega t minus 11 cos 11 omega t upon 11 
cos 13 omega t upon 13 and so on and like the it will be uh, 23 and 25 likewise so how we are actually deciding the which uh, frequency or which harmonics are going to be added because these are kind of the in the Fourier series these are in the form of Fourier series so how we are deciding that should be a 12 that should be a 13 that should be 11 how we are deciding so read this point the order of characteristics harmonics the order of characteristic harmonics are actually in the in the type of h is equal to 12k plus minus 1 as we have discussed in the first uh, uh, first point also then the primary current contains the harmonics of the order 11 13 23 and 25 and so on just you have to use the integer that is the k is the integer here just put the value of the k as a 1 2 3 and you are going to get the different different uh, uh, kind of harmonics values so first will be 11 13 23 and 25 likewise it is going to be happen now so but if we talk about the ac line current if we talk about the ac line current on the secondary side then the ac line side contains the harmonics of the order 5th 7th 11 13 likewise this is going to be ordered okay guys now we will find uh, what is going to be uh, the waveform for that this is the basic waveform we will get uh, like this id root 3 here the these are kind of the step type so this is the upper one is a 1 plus 2 root 2 by uh, 2 root 3 this is the the gap between the two steps is id by root 3 this is the id here and this is the for this one this is the id by root 3 likewise it is going to be happen here so this is the uh, this is the waveform for or you can say the harmonics wave like uh, given here okay now so if we talk about the consecutive pulse of the dc voltages waveform waveform of the six pulse converter are displaced by the two pi by six radians so how we will decide that then that will depend on the number of uh, pulses number of the pulse uh, converter if you are using the 6 pulse con converter then i will divide 2 pi by 6 if we are using the 12 pulse converter then i will divide 2 pi by 12 radian that is the 30 degree radian 30 degree 30 degree that is not the radian okay so i can say at this point the consecutive pulses of the dc voltage waveform for the 6 pulse converter are displaced by the 2 pi by 6 radians so that for the 12 pulse converter automatically we will talk about the 12 pulse converter that 12 pulse converter is going to be 2 pi by 12 radian that is the 30 degree it is going to be occur okay so i can say that to achieve this phase difference of 30 degree as we have found that 2 pi by 12 that is the uh, 2 pi by 12 that is a pi by 6 and which is actually 30 degree so we generally require the phase difference of 30 degree so at the starting of the lecture i have already told that uh, the connection is kind of that star star and the second is star and delta we should we should have also done uh, delta delta or delta star or star 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 but why, why we have used only the star star above and the star delta this is the reason for what which is given that to achieve this phase difference to achieve this phase difference, what is that phase difference that is the 30 degree so that phase difference is uh, given here okay one second okay and the windings are connected as star star and the star delta now so i can say the secondary side voltages of the two three phase transformers are mutually displaced by the 30 degree so i can uh, so the secondary side will be displaced by 30 degree that uh, that was shown in the figure also now the phase voltage of the delta side lacks the phase voltage of the star side by the 30 degree so if i talk about the phase voltages then it will be on the delta side and on the star side that is a phase difference of the 30 degree so i can say the current will also be displaced and it will be lead by the 30 degree okay guys now the general way to represent the maximum value of the fundamental and the harmonics currents will be that is a i10 2 root 3 id root 6 i6 rms by pi so this is uh, the one is the order of how harmonics and zero will represent here the second 
it is written not the 10 it is 1 and 0 so 1 is actually representing your uh, the suffix is 1 and 0 so the first that one is represent the fundamental frequency or you can say the order of the frequency or order of the harmonics and that 0 will represent your uh, overlapping angle and here we have taken the overlapping angle is equal to 0 that's why it is uh, taken as 1 and 0 so I can say that I10 that is the 2 root 3 ID root 6 so I6 upon pi RMS so I can say the harmonics according to that the harmonics will depend and it is going to be I10 I10 upon H so that will so I can say that the current is going to be reduced here okay now so uh, this is all about uh, the topic related with the harmonics in the converters so I hope you have understood up to this uh, uh, successfully so tata bye bye and thank you